Let's answer your question here. For your convenience, I've put it into yards, although I really recommend that you stay in meters. Having said that, we're gonna set out our basic parameters. This is a 5.56 caliber. It's a full metal jacket bow tail weighing 55 grains, G1 ballistic coefficient of 2.46, muzzle velocity of 3,100 some odd feet per second. Now this basically represents a 20 inch barrel firing 2.23 or a 16 inch barrel firing 5.56. They're very, very similar. Now sight height, right now set to the standard 2.6 inches for most AR-15s. Zeroing range is set to 25 meters or 27 and a half yards. This is very, very important. We'll talk about this later. Temperature, standard temperature and pressure would be 59 Fahrenheit, but we're going to set it to 25 Celsius or 77 Fahrenheit, which is much more realistic for, um, you know, California's weather. Wind speed is three miles per hour. Altitude, instead of sea level, because nobody actually lives at sea level, unless you literally live on the beach, we've set the altitude to 2,500 feet above sea level, which is uh, uh, the range at Monarch Defense. Maximum range is 550 yards, which is 500 meters. We're going to rerun this chart. I've already done this chart for you. I'll show you later. We're going to rerun this chart at three and a quarter inches. Okay, so let's going to go back here. And sight height, 3.25 inches. Everything else is staying exactly the same. We're going to calculate it again, and it'll give us results in yards. So now we're going to take this information right here, drop in inches. We're going to copy it, and I'm going to paste this onto our chart, and I'll be right back with you. All right, let's look at the numbers side by side. For those who are just joining us, we're going to be talking in yards for your convenience, although I really recommend you learn how to work in meters. This is in inches. Now, column B is comparing a standard AR-15, which has a sight height of 2.6 inches over the bore. Column C is like a tall mount sight. This could be random tall mounts that you buy just because you think you're cool, because you watch some YouTube videos. In this case, this is for one specific student who's got a Galil Ace, which is really a Kalashnikov. Um, with an AR-15 set of heights on top, uh, set of sights on top of it, so that the sights are taller than what they should be. This could also could be things like Scar 16. This could be Tavor X95. This could be a, a number of different guns that just have a tall sight. So remember, if we're trying to take a battle zero, standard battle zero at 25 meters or 27.5 yards, that's right here. All the rifles are battle zero at the same distance. You can't just change one thing, which is the difference in height and expect everything to stay the same. That just doesn't work like that. So we'd have to rerun those numbers, but let's just lay out the problem first. The problem with having tall sights. Okay, we zero them at the same distance, 25 meters. Let's scroll down. All right, all looks pretty good. We're at 75 meter, or 75 yards, I'm sorry. Uh, standard AR-15 is at uh, plus 3.8 inches, and your tall sights are at plus 4.9 inches. Not a big deal. Okay, but now we reach 123 yards. Standard AR-15 is plus 6.9 inches, and you with your tall sights are plus 9 inches, which means you're starting to miss above the target. Now, everything in red, you are missing above the target. Now, this is talking about the American doctrinal way that we battle zero fighting weapons, which takes in a margin of error of an 18-inch wide target and an 18-inch tall target. That basically means that we're going to be willing to miss anything up to 9 inches high, and we're willing to miss anything 9 inches low. Okay, so let's take a look here. From 123 yards starting, you're missing. Standard AR-15 is hitting. Standard AR-15 is hitting. You're missing, you're missing, you're missing, you're missing, you're missing. You're 12 inches high, you're 13 inches high, you're 14 inches high here. Apex, standard AR-15 apex is at 9.2 inches. Okay, now you're still climbing, 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 climbing. 14.2 inches high, you apex. 14.2 inches high. Again, because you have a tall mounted sight, if you zero it the same way, you're missing way high above the target. Of course, for the student that this is built for, this chart specifically, Rel, you saw that your hits were high at 100 yards or 100 meters. You saw that in person, right? Now, let's continue. You're still missing, you're still missing, you're still missing, you're still missing, you're still missing. Air 15, standard Air 15 is back to, it's not just Air 15, it's just 2.6 inches above the bore. Your sights is above the bore by 2.6 inches. Now. Um, tall mount sights, we're now starting to hit the target again. You're at 378 yards. Everything from 123 to 378 yards you've missed over the top of the target. So now you're hitting, okay, standard AR-15 is at far zero. Far zero, which is at 384 yards. Again, about mm, 345 meters, something like that. Again, we're, we're learning uh, a set of standard numbers. This is equivalent to a 20-inch barrel with five, five, I'm sorry, 20-inch barrel with 
55 grain 223 pressure or 16 inch barrel with 55 grain full military pressure 5.56 millimeter ammo. Okay, tall sights. You're hitting the target again. You're hitting the target. You're hitting the target. You're hitting the target. Okay, you see the orange marks? We're at 444 yards or right at exactly 400 meters, 401 meters, 402 meters. AR-15 standard is back to its um, limit of point blank range. Okay, meaning the, the distance at which you can just look, aim, point, and shoot, hit the target. Now your tall sights, you're coming back down to your far zero at 450 yards, and then you're gonna drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down to your limit of point blank range at negative nine inches. So in other words, rather than setting up a 330 meter, 350 meter far zero, you set up a 450 meter far zero. Sounds great, right? Well, no, not exactly. Let's look over here. So I've graphed this out um, so you can see it visually. The yellow line represents plus nine inches, so nine inches above where you're aiming. You're aiming here at the zero, where it says zero. This is the middle of the target. So at the muzzle, you aim at zero. Of course, you're gonna hit about three inches low. Now, 25 meters, you're both, both rifles are zero properly, but you can see these are the same bullets, same exact trajectory. We've just taken one and just pointed it super high up in the air by simply making, making a 0 0.7 inch change in how tall the sights are in the beginning. But you see that makes such a big difference. So anything above this yellow line, you are missing, all right? So all this space right here, you're missing the target, you're missing above the target. Now, of course, here you're hitting the target again, so you're not gonna notice a difference. Now, if we look at the far zeros, we have, this is 400 yards, so 380 yard far zero and a 450 yard far zero. Basically, when we're talking about, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, 450 yard far zero. When we're looking at uh, different zeros, when we look at battle zero, where we're trying to optimize that you can point, aim, shoot, and everything is going to be between the yellow line and the green line. If it's between yellow and green, we're going to be hitting the target, which is called man-sized target. We're going to make an assumption that's 18 inches wide, 18 inches tall. So that means we're willing to accept 9 inches left, 9 inches right because of the wind, and we're able to accept 9 inches high, 9 inches low because of how you zero it. And so you can see with the 3.25 inch height, height over board with a red line, it is unacceptable to zero this weapon the same way at 25 meters and expect positive results. You're just not going to be hitting the target. All right, so let's show you the solution. Starting back at the ballistic calculator, what I've done now is I've taken our zeroing range and I've made it the exact same far zero. Notice Notice earlier we're talking about near zeros. Now, right now, I've taken the far zero and took the exact same chart, far zero of 384 yards, and punched it in here, giving us a calculation not for near zero, but for far zero. We're going to work the near zero backwards. Now, I get some data and some numbers. I'm going to take this and graph it. Okay, let's put it back into our graph. So now we have a new graph or new chart, range in yards, standard AR-15, 2.6 inches height over bore, tall sights, three and a quarter inches height over bore. Again, that was problematic because we're missing everything too high. Same three and a quarter inches height over bore, but zero at a different distance. Now we've set up our zero such that we're at 384 yards. But actually, if you look closely right here, it sets up our near zero at 34 yards. So basically 384 yards and 34 yards near zero. Unfortunately, we don't really have 34 yard ranges. So what that means is that 25 meters, we're gonna be negative 0.65 inches, negative 0.65 inches. And again, this is one of the reasons why inches is bad because you don't have a ruler that tells you 0.65 inches. Or if we're at 25 yards, we're gonna be negative 0.8 inches at 25 yards. So this is called zeroing with an offset. So even though we're still gonna zero at 25 yards or zero at 25 meters, you're gonna be zeroing at negative 0.8 inches or negative 0.65 inches. Okay, this gives us a practical zero, an actual zero at 34 yards near. And then we're gonna climb, 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 climb. Let's see, we're looking for apex, right? I'm looking for these numbers to start changing going down. 8.6, 8.7, 8.8, 8.9, 9, bam. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. So right there, we take the, the mode. This is gonna be your apex right there, boom. So now we know what your apex is, which is nine inches high at 220, uh, 223 yards, 200 meters, right? Exactly 200 meters. Now we're going to come back down, come back down, come back down, come back down, come back down. See, everything on the red was missing. Everything here you're hitting and far zero at 384 uh, yards. So we're right on there. I just matched these two far zeros in the calculator. So of course, they're going to be the same. Now you can see these two columns now are basically identical. 
the way the bullet's dropping, 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 we're negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, bam. Negative nine inches or max point blank range, max PBR. So now let's switch over and look at it graphed out. Okay, so blue line, standard AR-15. We're starting at negative 2.6 inches. We're apexing here. We can even just see our blue line. All right, so uh, hard to hard to get the right chart to tell me what to do. Okay, cool, here it is. Um, 9.2 inches, we're apexed out at 225 yards. Now red is, of course, the problematic zero. The arch is too big. We're missing all this stuff above the green line we're missing. But uh, let's look at the yellow line, right? Yellow line, you can see far zero is identical. Near zero is not identical, but very close. And trajectory max point blank range is perfect, spot on. So you can see these, these trajectory charts are almost identical. And this is called zeroing with an offset. So in other words, we're taking that 25 meter zero and we're going to reduce it by the height difference between your um, the height of your sights. So I'm, you know, this is for reveal. Obviously, this video is for everybody. Everybody can benefit from this, but specifically addressing one student's question because he had difficulty just uh, yesterday or two days ago with this, or yesterday with this. Um, we're going to take the zeroing distance, 25 meters, right? And you're going to offset and reduce by 0 0.65 inches, 0 0.65 inches. So let's run some quick numbers in that. That way you know in minutes of angle how much you need to reduce. Well, if we run a calculator, let me open a calculator. Okay. Slow computer, just bear with me. We need to go 0.65 inches. Okay, now let's convert this into centimeters because we're working in uh, meters right now for 25 meters. So at 0.65 inches, multiplied by 2.54, that gives us centimeters. So we need to be 1.65 centimeters low at 25 meters. Okay, so this is the secret right here. 1.65 centimeters low at 25 meters. B, Z, O, okay? Now, 1.65 centimeters, let's convert that to minutes of angle. So four times the distance, four times the distance, this is centimeters at um, 100 meters, B6.6. .6. We're gonna divide this by 2.91. This is gonna give us minutes of angle. So we're gonna be 2.27 minutes of angle that we need to come down. Okay, 2.27 minutes of angle. So, of course, this is equal to 2.27 minutes of angle. Whoopsies. I started drawing a formula here. We're going to get rid of this here. Equal. 2.27 minutes of angle. Minutes of angle. Okay, so we need to go negative. 2.27 minutes of angle. Of course, this rounds to... We can't do 2.27, but this rounds to 2.25 MOA, right? So depending on your scope, if you have a quarter MOA click, this would be four, eight, nine clicks down. So basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna take 25 meters, 27 and a half yards. You're gonna set up your distance. You're gonna zero. Once you get zeroed, everything is done. Then you're gonna take nine clicks down, assuming you have quarter MOA clicks, right? Or you're gonna take two and a quarter MOA down with whatever adjustments you have available to you. And do the best you can. So some scopes only work in half. Some scopes, you know, pistol red dots only work in full MOA. You would just take two MOA down. The point is we're going to set up 25 meters zero like everybody else. You're going to be zeroing on the red line right here, which is a problem. And then you're going to take your trajectory and just bend it down by a little bit so that it matches the yellow line. And then your problem is solved. You'll always be hitting the target. It'll be standard. So again, um, geometry, guys. Geometry is built for a very specific weapon system. It is engineered for certain bullet performance and bullet velocity and a certain tactical need, you know, of a military. You on the civilian market, you want to go buy whatever gun. You want to go zero it whatever way. You want to put whatever optics on it. Every time you change something, it changes everything else. So now you got to know how to compensate, come over that, o overcome that. If you have questions on this, how to set up optimum zero for tall sights, first of all, don't get tall sights. Second of all, if you really have to get tall sights because of a weapon system like SCAR-16, uh, Tavor X95, 
or um, in this case, um, Galil Ace, you know, then give me an email, give me a call at uh, info at monarchdefense.org, 408-892-5460. This is Brian Wang with Monarch Defense or Combat Rifle School, and I'd be happy to help you with these numbers to get you your optimum max point blank range zero for your weapon system.